Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another news video on Help Wanted for Mobile. I really was not expecting to have to make another video about this topic, but we actually have a lot of new information about Help Wanted on phones. Some of it is very exciting, as you may have read in the title and for the thumbnail, and some of it is very interesting. <laughs> First up, I forgot to mention this in my FNAF AR video because I was too busy talking about how we got a skin instead of a character. We hit 10k boys, let's go! We just passed it yesterday and damn does it feel fantastic. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And if you are watching and you are not subscribed because the chances of you being subscribed are actually very low. I think you should subscribe because we have a lot of awesome videos. You see that? This board game right here? I made a video on that and it's coming out hopefully tomorrow. It was gonna come out today, but we got more news about Help Wanted on mobile. So let's talk about that. So last time we were here, we looked at the two trailers that they released for iOS and Android. Now, something very, very interesting is that if you now look at the playlist, you will see that the Android trailer is now private. However, the mobile trailer, which previously was privated, is now unlisted. Taking a look at it, it is basically identical to the other two mobile trailers, which I don't know why they made three trailers for Help Wanted on mobile, but they did. I'll play it right now. Hello and welcome to your new summer job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Yeah, so it is completely identical, except now at the end, it says download on the App Store and get it on Google Play, Play Now, which it is still not out as far as I'm aware. So that is why these videos are still unlisted and private, because they are not ready to be uploaded because the game's not on phones yet. But based on these trailers being ready, already uploaded to the channel, they're just waiting to go public, I'm guessing we can get it very, very soon, probably during this month, which is going to be very stressful because if you guys know, we have on Halloween, October 31st, we have the FNAF 6 port coming out. So it's gonna be a tight end of this month. Now, Steel Studios did put out a new teaser for Help Wanted on, um, on mobile. They put out a picture of their cat, they put out a picture of the game running on iPad, and then they have a Xbox One controller in the background. And I want to pick this one apart because it's very interesting. So of course, looking at it normally, it's, it's freaking fantastic. You know, you got this cute looking cat, um, you got an iPad playing Help Wanted, and then you have an Xbox One controller in the background, which hopefully is there because they must know people are asking about Xbox. Right, they announced that Help Wanted was coming to the Xbox One so, so long ago, and we have had zero information on it. Trust me, if there was information, I would have told you guys. You guys are always asking for info on it, but there just hasn't been any. So, hopefully, this means we will get some news soon for the Xbox One port. And then, at the bottom of the picture, we have, again, Help Wanted on the iPad. Now, it's difficult to look at it upside down, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it 180, and then we can properly look at it. Okay, so there is a lot to talk about here. First things first, um, there are some mini games missing, right? Uh, in Dark Rooms, you can see that it's only Nightmare Balloon Boy and Plush Baby, which there are supposed to be two more in Dark Rooms, Plush Trap and Funtime Foxy. So why those minigames are missing, I don't know. Maybe it's just an early build of the game. So hopefully this is an old screenshot of the game because if they have trailers ready and the game is still missing some minigames, 
we're gonna have some problems. Also, if I remember correctly, we are missing straight up categories of mini games, right? Um, usually you have FNAF 1, 2, 3 before Dark Rooms, but there's only two uh, level categories, I don't really know what to call them, before Dark Rooms, so we're missing FNAF 1, 2, or 3. And I'm pretty sure, let's see, Vent Repair, Parts and Service, Night Terrors, is that it? Those are the final ones? Maybe. I don't freaking remember. But we are definitely missing at least one category of levels. Up at the top, there is a pause button for some unknown reason. Maybe they are, maybe, I don't know. Why, why would there be a pause button? Maybe this is just a video of the game? I don't know why there's a pause button, honestly. Up in the top right, we have what looks to be uh, different controls for the game, so you can move around with your finger, or it looks like you're gonna have a joystick that you can move around. And then probably the most interesting thing is the Princess Quest Monitor. <laughs> I have no clue what that could be. It is not one of Steel World's other games. It is not on their list of games on their website. So, what could this be is the question. Personally, I think there's three options. The first option is that this is just a mistake and that's not supposed to be there. Um, it has nothing to do with Help Wanted, it has nothing to do with Security Breach. Um, it's just there for some odd reason. It just somehow got into the game's code or something. Which I don't think is the case because you know that they purposely planned this, you know, teaser out. With the cat, with the controller, with the whole, um, everything on the iPad. You know they planned this very carefully because they know what the community is like. They're going to pick this teaser apart. So either, right, it's a new DLC or game mode, or it's something for security breach. Now, normally I wouldn't say, oh, this is new DLC, or it's a brand new game mode, because why would they introduce that, um, just for mobile? But then you gotta keep in mind, they didn't, they did a update for the game when flat mode released. So this would not be the first time that they updated the game because a brand new version of it came out. Also, guess what happened exactly one year ago from today, AKA the day they posted this new teaser, which may be teasing a brand new DLC. One year ago today, we got Curse of Dreadbear, the DLC. Now, if you guys remember from a previous video, Steerwolf still might have plans for Help Wanted. So, could this be a new game mode? Could this be new DLC? If it is brand new um, content for the game, it's gotta, it's gotta focus around Fanny, right? Like, who else could this princess be? Because clearly they're not gonna throw out a brand new character, right? Or would they? I don't know, because they did kind of throw out a brand new character with Fanny, but why release a brand new DLC for a game that's like a year and a half old when you have a brand new game coming out in a couple of months. I don't know. So that's why I'm hesitant to say that this is straight up brand new content for the game. It's very interesting. Um, also, like, there's a dagger there. <laughs> Where else have we seen a dagger? That's right, FNAF World. So clearly they were adding in FNAF World levels. Um, just kidding. Uh, unless it might have something to do with Vanny because, you know, she does have a knife, and as far as I'm aware, this is the only time we've seen a antagonist with a weapon. So, is this more DLC for Vanny before her big debut, um, like her big spotlight appearance in Security Breach? I don't know. It's very interesting to speculate about and I would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. So yeah, that's really it. Uh, hopefully this video doesn't come out too, too late because I gotta go in like 45 minutes, so I gotta get to editing, editing this fast. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.